Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday. It is November the 26th, and this is the Futures in 5. We're taking a look at the ES bouncing off of these edges here. We've got resistance areas sitting all the way up at 2681. We have support zones sitting right down here, 2642, and we came into prior resistance and then began to reverse. This is the region that we need to raise above the 2666. It's going to push us into the low volume areas. The low pocket regions are going to give us our first targets as we move upward. My thought is this flat adaptive moving average coming up into the resistant zone tells me that my pullbacks as I try to hold this space, should give me buy zones. I like the deep fade for the bounce today here. Brexit and whatever, we just have a little bit of a relief bounce and all the uh, online shopping things have come in fairly well. So it's going to give us a chance to punch up into these low volume pockets and then fade. Taking a look at the NQ, we've got the same sort of thing. This one's really running fairly well. Here's the problem. You know, this one's dipped very deeply. We had a support action here that faded, and then a support action here that faded. We still are coming into that old support, new resistance area. I suspect that's going to be the region that we're going to need to get up and over today in order to do something positive with this particular space. My thought is a pullback into the lower volume pockets or at least the prior price acceptance zone. That's probably going to be about 65.94 or so. That should give us the first bounce, but all of these signals here are resistance areas, so pullback action is more likely adaptive moving average telling us the same thing. Pullbacks likely to be buy zones. You just have to watch them fairly carefully. With the YM, as we move into this space, we did come up into the old resistance zones up around 530. That's from Friday and earlier in, excuse me, that's from early last week in that space or midweek. And so now that's going to be the range that we need to get up and over. Notice the thin volume profiles all the way up here. This is the time price opportunity tool from Motive Wave. It is a very good tool. I like it a lot, although it may make your chart look uh, cluttered. I potentially would never work without it. It's, it's very, very good. All right. So that being said, here we are. This is price acceptance. We aren't really leaving the range, but here we've got a pretty solid spot. That's probably going to be old support, new resistance, and then the retest area somewhere around 24,427 for us to move forward. Be patient on the fade if you're looking for long. That's going to be the better bet. Here, monster fade well down into 50. Really big move on Friday. Collapsed through the range. I thought it would hold 5150. Obviously not, because now 5150 is looking like resistance. So we do need to get up and over it. Look at the volume profile building here very, very tightly. That's the edge we want to look at. So the pullbacks into these spaces going to give us a little bit of buying pressure. This is forming up as support. So resistance, we're going to watch it at 5150. Support, we're going to watch it anywhere between 5079 and 5060 pops up into the region could easily begin to pop up 5220 to 5280 potentially the regions that we want to see next stop in the space you know um we'll see i know opec wants to curb but i mean <laughs> they're a bit over a barrel right now as it were so that's it for oil taking a look at gold. We're going to slip into the next contract in a couple of days, but you can see it just heavily congested sitting in this zone. The forward contract is printing higher, of course, because they do suspect uh, some things happening that are fairly negative. So the forward contracts in gold are upward and in higher spaces. For us this week, we'll watch the pullback also be buy zones We've got support action building around 1223. 
any deep dips are going to be buying opportunities in this space. We've got a really deep auction profile here. I'm not really sure it's going to come back at this juncture to fill it. That might be somewhere in the distant future. But that's it. Good luck trading today.